This is the amount of energy American scientists estimate tropical cyclones release every day. It's enough to power 10 trillion light bulbs, or about 70 times the amount of energy used in the world each day. And if cyclones hit land, this energy is released with devastating effects. Up to 80 centimetres of rain can fall in a single day. That's more than London gets in a whole year. And cyclonic rain is lashed by winds gusting up to 360 kilometres an hour. Ranging from 50 to 1,000 kilometres across, tropical cyclones are high-energy versions of tropical thunderstorms ultra-low-pressure weather systems where the normal limits don't apply. But luckily for most of us, tropical thunderstorms only turn into cyclones when a very particular set of factors come together. This map, produced by NASA, shows the path of every major tropical storm since records began. The yellow and orange lines represent tropical cyclones, storms with constant wind speeds over 120 kilometers an hour. They're also called hurricanes in the US, or typhoons in the Pacific. You can see from the tracking lines that tropical cyclones can travel a long way. But they only form in a narrow band, 10 degrees either side of the equator. That's because cyclones are powered by energy from warm, humid air. And there's only enough of that around when the sea temperature is over 26 and a half degrees. This is one of hundreds of tropical thunderstorms that strike Bangladesh every year. They're caused when grey cumulonimbus clouds deposit the massive volumes of water droplets they contain. These storms are less severe than cyclones because they begin over land and that limits the amount of energy available. But they need exactly the same conditions to form.